Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a government and stimulus update um, about a little bit about everything that's going to happen and is going to happen. And so I'm gonna give you details on each thing that I have that is actually new. So if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell to let you know about future videos I got coming out with. And if you wanna support my page, my Patreon page and my PayPal donation page is linked below and also on the top of my home page on my YouTube channel. Now, let's get right into this here. Now, for the PPP loan, everybody can get this. Um, this is if you have 10 employees or more, you can get up to $10,000 to $1,000 per employee. You can get this and the e e i d l loan grant um that's actually open uh you can actually go for that again with the other one that i just mentioned that you can go and turn around and get that that won't be a problem and for of course everybody knows or hopefully everybody knows about the unemployment extension um it's going to go from 300 to 400 dollars and that is for the PUA and the FPUC unemployment. So those are going to go up when this new bill passes. Hopefully everything can be done and ready on the 14th of March. So that's when they're going to go and hopefully pass it and it can go through. This is hopefully. Okay. And then it turns around and it says there's no new updates on the SSI and the SSI, I mean SSDI, um, about the extra two hundred dollars that you guys are supposed to be getting for on top of your social security checks. Like Biden was mentioning this in his campaign that that's what he wanted to go and do, and now that disappeared. So the only raise that you got was the raise that you got for the inflation. That was the 24 bucks that you got on top of what you already get now. But for right now, there's no thing going on about it's going up to $200 like um, he was saying that he wanted until the end of this year. It has not. He didn't mention that. I mean, that's been nobody. No one has been not talking about that at all. So. We don't know what, what is happening with that. We don't know what's going to happen with that. So I just want to let you know on that. Now, for the small business loans. Now, this is what's going to happen. Um, on Wednesday, starting tomorrow, any big corporations that are going to go and turn around and go out for this um, money for their business is going to be cut off. What they're going to do is they're going to go and turn around and give finally the small businesses a chance to come in, fill out the paperwork, do what they got to do to go and try to get this loan. If you have less than 20 employees starting tomorrow, you can come in and automatically go out for this loan. This is a loan that you do not have to pay back. This is a government loan that they're going to give you for all small businesses. And this is starts tomorrow. I don't know what the exact time, probably early in the morning, probably about seven o'clock, seven a.m. in the morning when this might happen. And they're saying that all big, all big businesses above 20 employees cannot um, go in and apply for a loan for at least two weeks until the small businesses come in and they can go and turn around and do what they need to go and do to go and pass and get their small business in there for them to go and get the money for their small businesses. Now, this is all mostly all the updates that I have. Now, also, I got some news about Janet Yelling. As everybody knows, she's the new secretary of um, the Treasury. And she went online uh, I should say not online, but on a news conference and stuff like that. And she was saying that we need to pass this now, this bill, and do not go into and worry about the future because 
if we don't fix this problem now, it's going to be worse in the future. And I kind of agree with her with that because if it goes and turns around and it gets any worse, especially the economy now, it, it's going to be very, very hard to fix this in the future. And mostly what she's trying to say to people is that, or I should say to the senators, that if we don't not go and pass this bill now and get this money out to the people, it's going to be worse in the future. Then on top of that, a lot of people are turning around and saying, well, what happens if the people gets their money and they go and put it in stocks or they go and save it and stuff like that? She's over there turning around and she's saying to people or to the Congress people and stuff like that. And he goes, even if they even go out and buy stocks, it's still going into the economy. It's still boosting the economy some way, somehow. If they go out and turn around and save their money, that she seriously doubt that will happen because a lot of people are behind on their bills, behind on their rent. So all that money that they're beginning was going to go forward to go and pay for their bills and their rent and stuff like that. So that's a good thing that she's putting that out there for the government to go and turn around and listen to her. Hopefully they will go out and do this faster and they will come past this bill on the 14th and maybe two weeks later or maybe even a week later we can finally get our stimulus checks dropped into our accounts. And also, like I was saying too, in one of my past videos that these probably guys have probably heard because I got some pretty good um, view time on that one, is that if you have a social security number, you are guaranteed to get a stimulus check. If you do not have a, stim if you do not have a social security number, you will not be getting a stimulus check. Now, there is what I will call like a little loophole in this. And what I mean by that is that just, in, just say if you had a baby, okay, and that baby was born somewhere during last year in December, November, October, and stuff like that. And if that baby coarsely will automatically will have a social security number, but the two parents do not have a social security number or has even an ITM number, but are still working. And if you filed your taxes during that time or during this time now, you will be able to claim your child on your taxes as a dependent to get that stimulus check for that child. And... That is, it's it's weird how they do it, how they did it, and how they word it inside the the new bill. But that's basically how it's going to be. And also, too, is that if you have, if you're thinking that you're going to get type of um any type of engagements on your stimulus checks, that means if people are, you think people are going to take your money from you when you get it, they cannot do that. Um, child support, back taxes. Uh, state taxes, UI cannot go and touch your money when you get it. That's what it says inside this new bill. So you guys are safe on that for you guys will get it. Now, also, uh, I mentioned this in another magazine. I mean, in another um, thing that I have here is it kind of sucks that I found out in here and it actually says it in here that prisoners are going to go and get um, the stimulus checks. I actually think that's kind of bad and kind of sucks at the same time because they do not deserve to get stimulus checks unless that money is going back to the people that they hurt. Then I can go and turn around and say, okay, you can go and do that. That'd be cool to go and do. At least they will get some type of you know, money for what they did to them. But for right now, I don't see that happening. So that kind of sucks. Uh, I'm thinking they should change that, but I don't think it's going to happen. So we have to see what happens when the bill comes out. And luckily, this bill is already in writing. So you guys can actually go and see the whole entire bill. And it's a pretty big ass bill. I broke down in my last two videos of unemployment and the stimulus check program of how they're going to do the checks and the how they're going to go and break down the the stimulus checks of how much money you make 
how much money you're going to get in your stimulus check. So I broke all that down in my past videos. You can actually link, see the links be on, on the uh, below for you to go and turn around and look up stimulus. And then you can look at the videos that I have there. And I can tell you everything that you guys want to go and know about all that. And like I said, basically that's about it for everything that's new that came out. So I just wanted to give you guys a good update of what's going on. And like I said, hopefully by March 15th or 14th, this bill should be voted on. And if everything goes okay, if no hiccups, everything should be done by the 15th, 16th. And this bill should be done. And probably by the next following week or the week before that, we should start seeing our stimulus checks drop into our accounts. If there is no hiccups, you know how our government is. They love throwing monkey wrenches in, in good plans. So I just want to let you guys know about this. So if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know about future videos I got coming out with. And if you want to support my page, my Patreon page and my PayPal donation page is linked below and on the top of my homepage on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, guys. Until the next video.